Okay, we are at the front of the Tesla battery pack. I have all the modules down the one side removed. The modules that are remaining, uh, none of those are in series, so nothing is above 24 volts. Uh, up at the front, I can see some signs of water damage in this, uh, this material that's uh, in the bottom of each of these bays for the modules. Look how this one is all kind of, it's all kind of bubbled up. Um, now, this other one over here wasn't as bubbled up, and yet when I was putting my shop vac in here just to clean out any dirt or little bits of um, uh, caulk that got pulled off while I was removing the modules, uh, accidentally uh, the mat in the bottom of this came right up, and in fact the corner broke, and unfortunately you can't feel this, but it feels like it's absorbed water. It feels damp. And that corner broke in such a way that uh, it absolutely feels like it's got some moisture in it. Uh, those are held down by some very thin double-sided tape. It just came right off um, with the, the shop vac pulling it up. Um, but I wanted to shop vac this out really well because there are these valves back in here. These are called umbrella valves. And they're basically kind of a pressure relief valve. So I wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally leave any dirt in there so that if one of them opened and some junk was in there, you know, maybe it wouldn't close properly. So we shot back this all out. But over here, um, I didn't vacuum back as far because I noticed something. So over here, these valves look pretty good, but you can see what appears to be some, some signs of water intrusion over here, a little corrosion around here and around here as well. And harder to see because the hose is in the way, but look down here. So right here, we definitely see some dirt around it and it looks like there's a little bit of something in there, like, uh, oh, I don't know, something organic, some, uh, maybe like a piece of a maple seed or some grass or some some sort of gunk in there and then this one over here as well it looks a little dirty in there so i think what happened is something got in here and this valve failed and it was like stuck open now this one here too you can see there's some some kind of dirt around it we go back a little further this is all kind of corrosion um so it looks like water got in here and didn't have to be a ton but enough to show that dirt and just have a little corrosion around here so unfortunately that means corrosion is a potentially a pretty big issue here um now the other thing to remember is that this would be considered a cell module number 10 of 16 and over right across from it, uh, this would be number seven. Now, this was pretty clear sign of water intrusion, but the valves themselves are not nearly as obviously bad as they were on the other side. Um, when I looked real close, yeah, it looked like there was kind of maybe something going on there but not nearly as obvious as on the other side. So it looks like I'll have to replace these valves for modules seven and 10. And the other thing is that uh, basically, this is the front of the battery pack. So essentially that would be like right behind the front wheels. So of any spots of the battery pack where like water would be getting kicked up or that sort of thing, I would imagine it would be right there. Now, when I originally bought the car, I had an issue with water in the battery pack because of the fuse cover being rusted, and that was right here. And really didn't see any, you know, no change in any issues up here. Oh, I did also, when pulling this module out, little tiny bit of rust right there, so another indicator of some moisture getting in there. So, I'm going to pull out those umbrellas, those umbrella valves, and see how those look. And I think that was uh, part of my problem here.